hello everybody what's up welcome back to my channel so before we start just real quick what's on my lips is this elf matte lipstick in a in the shade berry sorbet i just added this in a new project pan it's in my um snow white and the seven pans project pan go check that out i blink it up in the cards i think it's right here actually either way i'll link it so you guys can um go check that out if you want to as you saw by the title this is a project pan this is update number two i had said in my intro that i would not be doing this monthly because i hated it i hated doing it monthly but i just can't help it i get so excited when i have progress so i'm like i gotta share i gotta share i gotta tell everybody and they mom so that is what we're doing today um these videos sometimes take long sometimes i've been getting my videos really short lately just saying what i need to say and then that's it um so we've been pretty good but i still want to get started so that it's not forever so let's just get started okay so we are going to go in order from all my project my, all my projects all my products so from all 19 that i had from the beginning i will go through them some of them I won't talk about to talk about too much because they I did talk about in my them in my last update and my intro. If you haven't seen those, go check it out. I won't like go into detail, but I'll show you them because I know I hate when I click on a update video and then they they don't even show you the products. I find that so annoying. So we're gonna show you, talk about them. I'll let you know what I'm doing. Actually, might as well just say it now. I eventually want to, not eventually, right now, during this update, I'm going to switch it. And instead of doing 19 products, I'm going to be going down to 9 products. So I wanted to go down to 9. Last update, we talked about this a little bit. But I wanted to go down to 9 because 19 is a lot of products. And then I was going to make it a 9 in 2019 rolling project pan. So I'd keep adding products to 9 so that I only had 9 products at one time. Um, and so I was like, I'm, I'll just do that when I get down to nine products, but <sighs> there are just some products that I just need to take out. I just need to switch it. So I'm switching things up a little bit. Um, and I'll end up by the end of this update, I'll have nine products that I will be using for the rest of the year. So although all that was a lot, I'm going to explain each product as I go. And so maybe that'll help you understand more. Okay, so product number one is my Wet n Wild Brow Pencil. I gotta pull this bad boy up. Okay, so here is my Wet n Wild Brow Pencil. If you can see, there's like literally nothing left. There's quite a bit. There's probably like a week or two left in there, but there's not that much left. If you want to see, here is the progress. So this was the intro. Oh my gosh. The blue was the intro, the red was last update, and he, the pencil is here we are, what we are now. I'm almost done with this, um, and I really just want to use it up. I'm so dedicated. I'm like, all right, I'm done playing around. I'm using this, and I'm using it up. I do like this brow pencil. I've said this multiple times before, but I do like it. And if I wanted this kind of triangle kind of shape I would definitely get this one um but I'm not really into it anymore so I'm just trying to get it out so I can use my other brown pencils basically that's it so this should be done this is actually I'm actually keeping this item in the project it's going to continue to be in the project um and yeah so item number two is the Maybelline fit me my Maybelline fit me concealer and the Maybelline fit me concealer my um last marks rubbed um rubbed on but like for the intro i started like pretty high up because i haven't hadn't used it that much and then my last intro i was like a little like right here around here and then now i'm here i don't have that much left um i haven't decided if i'm gonna take the stopper out of this um really yet. i haven't decided but we'll see i do like it it's just not my favorite concealer and i have a lot of concealers that i'm trying to pan get rid of and just use so um i don't know but i'm making such good progress with this i'm kind of like slowly starting to love this concealer the only thing is that i'm kind of i like the big doe foot like the big applicators are way better than this tiny one so i'm like Ugh. but I do like it and um, I'm making good progress on it so I'm keeping this in the project okay so products number three and four I actually finished a little bit ago this was the first project the next product no, product number three is the first product that I finished up in this entire project pan and that's this coconut water cream um, from hello fab or from first aid beauty whatever the freak it's called too many names in this um, I finished this up in the first update 
uh, by the first up for the yeah by the first update I finished it really easy it's just a small little tube um, I would not repurchase this it's not my favorite and it broke my face out so enough said um, next product number four I also finished with this what which was this Mac prep and prime natural radiance face primer whatever and it's radiant yellow um i would not repurchase this either i didn't really like it that much it was like fine like you just use it you gotta do what you gotta do you just use it but it was not like my favorite or anything like that so <sighs> whatever number product number five is my amuse cosmetics matte bronzer i have not hit pan on this and my goal was to hit pan on this product um, but, um, I'm actually trying, the reason why I wanted to go down to nine products as well is so that I'm using up the entire product. I had so many products that I was like, I'll just hit pan on it, I'll hit pan on it. And that to me was annoying because I'm still gonna have to use the rest of it some point in my life. And so even though I'm giving it use, hitting pan on it shows it gives it use i would rather use the entire thing up so this bronzer i'm leaving in the project pan to see how much i can use up of it if i use the whole thing thank god um i haven't even hit pan on it yet so it's slow going but i'm going to be keeping this product in the project and um yeah i want to use the whole thing up now not just hit pan on it so funny right like you think I'd be updating this when I actually hit pan on it and be like, I'll just use the whole thing up. But no, before I hit pan on it, I'm like, I'm going to use it up. Products number six and seven, I actually did hit my goal on, but we'll we'll talk about it. Product number six is my e.l.f. powder. Um, it's the e.l.f. Prime and Stay Finishing Powder. Actually, it was in this like little container, but I took it out because it was broken and that was annoying. Um, I have the shade Light Medium. It was in this, like I said. And um, here it is. Let me just show you it. Here it is right now. Um, I actually hit pan on it, decided to depot it because it was annoying me, and then it broke. So then I had to repress it, and I still hit pan on it again. But this product kind of inspired my whole, like switching this project pan up because I really want to just use this up. I don't want to switch um, to my other powder that I have in the project. I really don't. I just want to use this one up um, and not feel like I have to use all these powders to just hit pan on them and then put them on the back burner. Because like I still have my Rimmel Stay Matte for my last project. I haven't touched that in months because um, I've been focused on this one. So I really want to just use this up. The point of this should be to downsize my collection, not just hit pan on the product. So um, um, it should be either to use the product up or to use more of my products. So i rather just, you know, use this up so I can use more of my products. Um, I really love this powder. It's only $2 and um, I'm fine with using it up because this is what I want to use for right now. Um, I don't want to use my other powders. I'm like, I need this one. So that's why I really want to focus on it. Technically, I hit my goal, but I'm switching my goal to now using the rest of it up. So we are keeping that buddy in the project. That guy right here. Okay, and then next is, again, I hit my product. This is my e.l.f. blush palette, and I was shook. I know, I was shook. This is the e.l.f. blush palette. I have the shade, um, the light blush palette. It looks like this and you can see guys i'll show you a side by side for sure look at this big feller this huge dent um this huge dent this huge pan in here i was screaming i was like yes i had a little tiny hole because i had poked a hole to see how far it was from the bottom and i was so really far and then um i kept using it using it using it whatever and then I finally hit pan and I was like so excited. So then I kept using it for a little bit just to keep expanding the pan. And now we are done with this product. I'm rolling it out of the project pan. I'm done with it. I was going to keep it in just to use it up, but I really don't want to. This is a really old product. And once I started to get like closer to the bottom, it started to get like a little crumblier. And I didn't know like maybe that was, you know, um, it's age showing a little bit those are so pretty though um so i'm gonna leave it in my collection i'm not decluttering it or throwing it out now by any means but at the end of the year i probably will declutter it i am just felt like i should tell you that but i do love this palette so good such a good staple blush so glad i hit pan on it though i was like yes is okay next two are products that i'm rolling out of my project pan that i did not 
like I barely even put in the project pan. So this is my Essence All About Max Fix Matt All About Matte Fixing Compact Powder. I have the waterproof one, and if you can see it, like there's no progress. I didn't use it. I didn't use it in my last update either, just because I was focusing on the Elf one, and I don't want to use this right now because it is matte and it is super matte, like super super matte. It would be really nice for the summer, and right now I don't need that much matte stuff and so i was like well why force myself to use something i don't want to use when i could just use the elf one and although in the summer maybe i'll switch it up in the summer because technically i did hit my goal on um the elf one i don't know though i really just want to use this one up and focus on the elf one instead of the essence one after i was done with the elf one i was gonna roll in this one like use this one solely um so that i did hit pan on it but I just don't feel like it so I'm actually gonna roll this out and I will use it when I feel like I use it like during the week and stuff and during the next couple months when I feel like using it but I'm not gonna put it in my project pan and then same with this next product this is the balm beach blush by the balm and I made a little bit of progress on this I did use it a little bit and make a little dent in it I just realized like I don't need to hit pan on this and this is another product once I hit pan what Cause it's not like I get rid of a blush, so I really didn't want to focus on it to, and then it just have a pan, a blush with pan on it in my collection. Like I wrote three, wrote three. I always do that. I rotate through my blushes a lot, and um, I don't feel like I need to focus on one that I don't use because I do use this one when I rotate them, and so. I really didn't feel like I needed to get this one out of my collection. And I did, again, like I started another project pan, and so I added a, a blush in that project pan that I actually want to use up and get out of my collection. So I'd rather focus on one that I'm going to get out of my collection than one I just want to hit pan on for no reason. Just to hit pan on it. There's no real reason, so. Okay. Okay, so next product that I am keeping in my project is the Nubian by Juvia's Place. I have this little shadow right here. You can actually see the rings on it. Yep. In certain angles you can see the ring on it because I've been using and abusing this guy. I haven't used it in a couple days but um, still I'm making really good progress and I really think that I can use this entire shade up um, actually instead of just hip hand on it so I can get a single shadow out of my collection. This was in a palette and I did depot the palette but I felt like um, those all those shades I can use up pretty easily because they're all just neut neutral shades that I can use with any look. So I rather, you know, so I'm so I'm okay with leaving this in the project and getting it out and stuff like that. So we are leaving this feller in here, but just with the goal to use the entire thing up, not just hip pants. So we'll say. Okay, next is uh, my tickled peach palette. Um, Too Faced Tickled Peach Palette. I had the shade Beach Bum in my project, and I actually did use a lot of it. Like, there's a pretty big dent in it. You'll probably have a hard time seeing it. I'll put it side by side. Um, but there is a pretty decent dip in it. I used quite a bit of it. Um, but I am rolling this product out of the project. Not for any other reason than I just don't want to... I don't need to focus on this shade. I have other shadows and stuff that I'd rather use up or use, um or focus on over this one and that's just because I love this palette and I love like everything together so I don't want to use up one of the shades and then like then it's like well what the heck like that was stupid so I really don't feel like I need to focus on this shade I'm really glad I gave it a lot of use though um, and eventually I'll be able to once I roll product out I'll roll another product in so maybe I'll roll this one back in. I doubt it though, but um, I rather focus on like single shadows. I have so many single shadows now that I rather focus on and get out of my collection so that I can use my palettes instead of just focusing on one in the palette. Okay, so next three products are next three products I actually used up. This is my Ciate Extraordinary Translucent Powder. I missed this powder and I want it back in my life ASAP. Okay, um, and I actually do miss this powder. I would consider repurchasing it once I finish up more of my loose powders. I only want to keep one loose powder in my collection. I think I made a, one or two loose powders in my collection. I really don't want more than that and two honestly is like a lot like just to give me variety but Really, I don't lose, use loose powder every day, but um, I really like want this to be a staple in my life, and I do miss it. Um, I love this powder. It's a Ciate uh, London Extraordinary Translucent Powder. 
if I didn't say that already. Next was my Flower Beauty In Your Prime Hydrating Primer. I did like this primer. I actually loved it. It was really nice while it lasted. It's not something like that I'm going to run out and repurchase at all, but um, if I need a good staple hydrating primer, I would reach for this one. Um, I am still, I'm, there are different products and different um, types of products that I like to try other things from just to get a sense. Um, so I am just going to try other hydrating primers, but if I really like nothing compares to this, then I'll go back to this one, but not that big of a deal really and then the last thing was this menthol lip shine from um men it's like this menthol lip shine you could get these at bath and body works i don't like this it's really sticky it's gross gloss that gets everywhere i don't like it i have a friend who really likes them i don't so glad that's gone okay and the next product is this elf tinted moisturizer with spf 20 i have the shade beige this product is literally almost done and so um of course i'm keeping it in the project i love this tinted moisturizer so good it really sucks i have to use it like get her done by march april because um once may june july like the summer months the warmer months sit hit and i start to get some color back this um, will be too light for me, so I really gotta get her use. It literally should be, like, down here. I keep saying that, but it's now it's for real, like, like, once I get the air out of it, it's, like, down to the wire. Like, it's probably, like, two weeks left of use in here, and that's, like, me not using it every single day. So, um, ready to get this done, just so that I don't have to waste it or it doesn't have to sit in my collection all summer, especially because there's SPF in it, and I don't, I wouldn't keep it there for the whole year, so, so excited, I love this tinted moisturizer, so definitely something I'd repurchase for sure, I'm trying to get her done though. So, okay, so next is my number seven powder, I actually rolled that out if you guys saw my last update and I switched it to this Ulta Beauty Mattifying Translucent Powder and this is where I was last update and the reason why there is no new um, line even though there is some progress there's no new line because I'm scrolling this out too. I really like this is super matte and I, again I don't need that much matte and this is like an annoying product that really you don't know what it's doing it's just all kinds of too much too much for me I can't handle it so I'm switching this out and I did I put it in here like kind of on a whim just so I could have something to roll in here but I really didn't know the product before I put it in here and I didn't know what I was getting myself into and um, although I do want to eventually use this up and get it out of my collection um, I don't like it in this format and I don't want to use this every day right now so I am rolling this out and I am switching it with this it's in this Flower Beauty Compact, but it's actually the Cody Airspun Powder. It's like the most famous powder of life. Okay, not anymore, but it used to be on YouTube. And I have, right now, I'm like, I'll mark it. If it, like, goes, it's really hard because white, but if it goes, like, completely flat, you can see it's, like, right there. It's a little slanted. But it's, like, around there in that general vicinity. Um, it's really, like, there's not that much in here. And this is not the all of the Airspun I have. I have the rest of the Airspun in another container. Um, but I do want to just finish this container. I actually really have been liking this powder. And it's, like, really pretty on the face. So I really have been liking it. And so that's why I'd rather use this over this Airspun one. And I really want to get a loose powder out. I keep switching them because I don't really like loose powder. But, um... We're going to do this one. We're going to stick to this one, get her done, and roll something else in. Hopefully not this, but I might have to. So, the next product is my e.l.f. HD Lift Concealer. I think it's like the HD Lift or something like that. I have the shade Medium. It's too dark for me. If you can see, this is where it was in the beginning. First update, and here I am. And now, I've been using this as a contour, so I've been getting a lot of use out of it. I'm tired of it. And I don't want to use it anymore, but I do want to just get it on my collection because I am so close to the bottom. Uh, for a little, I thought I was a little higher up, and I was like, I'm just going to roll it out. But there's no point in doing that. I'd rather just use it, get it on my collection, and not have to worry about it again. So we're going to keep this in. And the last product that I am keeping in um, is this Japanese Cherry Blossom Perfume. So this is where it was in the beginning first update here I am now I have not been using it that much in the um anymore just because like I don't know I just don't but I do love the smell still still trying to use it up I don't feel bad about this I feel like we're making some good progress and once I roll this out I won't be rolling in another perfume because I like using whatever perfume I want but I would be glad to be one perfume shorter because I have so many so many 
Um, I gotta do like an updated perfume collection. Um, but uh, yeah, I psh, there's not much to say. I'm keeping it in because I know that I'll finish it within the maybe in the next up by the next update hopefully. Um, if not, we'll be pretty dang close. So we'll finish it by the end of the year for sure. If not by summer, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so the last product on my list, um, product number 19 out of the 19 that I that I had in the beginning was this Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. Um, I'm actually rolling this out and I don't, maybe I'm like an idiot, I don't know. I don't like this product and I feel forced against my will to have to use it and I don't want to do that anymore. I want to use it when I want to use it or when I want to try it. I actually had some really bad breakouts. This this is like the like the calming down of it, but I had some really bad breakouts last week and I had just started using this again. And so I don't know if it was this or what it was, but I rather just rather be safe than sorry and, and get this out of my uh, project pan. I I'm not necessarily going to give it get it out of my collection yet. Just so I can test and see if it was this that broke me out or if something else. But I do want it to be out of this project so I don't feel forced to use it. Um, I'm like right here. I have not used that much at all. And I honestly, I don't even know what I'm going to do with this. We'll see. Um, I'm like dedicated to not decluttering until the end of the year because I realized that I decluttered way too much last year and there's like so many products that I would like wish I still had which I wish I didn't get rid of um will, will consider repurchasing because I want it so bad so many products that I got rid of that I rather just um so that I don't want to make the same mistake this year and get rid of something that I really wish I kept so I'm gonna keep it in here again for a little bit just see how I like it see if I like it better in the summer see if I like it better in the fall I don't know um, right now I'm not loving it so I don't know so just to recap real fast because we are pushing it for time um, for my project my new project pan my 19 in 2019 I will be using my Cody airspun powder my amuse matte bronzer my Juvia's place single shadow my Japanese shade blossom perfume my e.l.f. tinted moisturizer in the shade beige. My Maybelline New York, my Maybelline Fit Me concealer in the shade Sand Sable. There she is. And my e.l.f. concealer in the shade um, medium. My Wet n Wild retractable brow pencil in the shade medium brown. And my e.l.f. powder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Perfect. So that's it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in my next one. Bye, guys. Comment below if you guys did a project pan. Um, I love project pans. I love, I like, love them so much. So please comment if you did one. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, and yo, yeah. peace.